morning and welcome to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10 2. I'm David Lovejoy. Good morning, everybody. I'm Rhonda Lonner. And on Thursday morning's edition of Chuckalicious, Chuck Williams. And it's the top buff. President of West Texas A&M University, Dr. Walter Willard, joins us to tell us about some great things happening on the campus of our uh, university here on the High Plains. Dr. Willard, welcome. How are you doing today, sir? David, I'm, I'm doing very well, and I uh, always, always appreciate uh, the opportunity to talk with all three of you. Dr. Wendler, Rural Education Initiative launched through the WT earns the Major Carnegie Award grant. And that's saying something. Explain that to me. Yes, I will. We, uh, when I say we, it, it really, the lead, the lead dog on this one is uh, Collegiate EduNation. Uh, uh, that's a group um, out of, uh, out of uh, Central Texas uh, that comes and works hard uh, to um, make educational opportunity uh, available to rural Texans. And of course, this is uh, very sympathetic to our goal to try to help reach rural students uh, and, uh, you know, rural high schools and so on, because they have special special needs in the sense that they're not in major urban areas. They don't uh, see as many recruiters a lot of times in these smaller schools. Uh, but we're trying to pay attention to them. And uh, Collegiate education. Uh, that operates out of Roscoe, Texas, uh, down by Emily. Um, they they are working diligently on uh, rural initiatives. And Carnegie uh, put out a uh, uh, put out a request for proposals for programs that want to help serve rural students mm -hmm. and collegiate education. Um, and we've been part with partnered with them from the very beginning. Uh, and uh, they wanted us to partner with them. And of course, we were very pleased to do so because the mission uh, is almost a uh, nearly a, a perfect uh, overlap with what we're trying to do. So we're thankful for it. And they've done a, they've done a very good job. And uh, I have to say that Chancellor Sharp early on, I, I had just gotten here and he said, look, I think this is something, well, maybe I've been here a year or so. We were working on the plan. We kept talking about rural, rural, Rural. That was what we were trying to focus on, um, so we could be good servants to this area first, and then other people from around the nation and state, and so on and so forth. But he said, "This is something you might be interested in." This gentleman um, has been to, been to see me, uh, Kim Alexander, been to see me, and uh, I think you ought to meet him. So I said, "Good idea," and I was uh, sharp. Has a lot of good ideas, and and uh, I met with him, and we developed a relationship and saw how we could support each other. And then uh, the Carnegie uh, Foundation uh, made 10 grants. Uh, mm -hmm. We received a $200,000 uh, commitment to help us uh, continue um, and uh, move forward with these rural initiatives that we believe will serve uh, a significant portion of the Texas population um, with dignity. Uh, and uh, we're excited about it. Uh, Dr. Willer, how important is it? We hear a lot of talk about uh, trying to keep the best and brightest here, keeping them home. And, and you look at some of our, our uh, country cousins, some of the communities around us, they're almost drying up uh, because the kids are leaving. Uh, the hospital uh, uh, are understaffed. They, they have problems with different, uh, in the education system, finding teachers. How important it is, is it? That, that you can give that environment to a young person and, and really kind of showcase what it is and what we are in the High Plains and why it's important that they stick around? Well, it's a, a great question, uh, David, and, and it is very important. Uh, you know, we want to reach a large audience to be sure, uh, but we want to always start with our local audience here. Under the, and this was a WT-125, uh, a, a kind of a precept, and that is, if we can serve this region well, there are many other regions like it across the state, around the nation, and on the surface of the planet. There are a lot of rural regions that are very important to the, to the, uh, let's say the sustenance of, uh, for us, the sustenance of Texas. And let me just say why, you've heard this before, but we are in the center of the food 
fuel and fiber production uh, that helps the Texas economy. The Texas economy is the seventh largest um, in the GDP, world. gross domestic product in the world. Mm -hmm. In the world. We're, we're, you know, not just other states, but I mean other nations. We are number seven in the world. Now, here's what I, what I uh, focus on when I think about this. The ag economy in Texas is 10% of the total GDP. So it's a small portion of the Texas GDP, but, but the Texas GDP is a big pie. So if we have a small piece of that pie that we represent here in rural Texas, by helping to feed uh, power of uh, the industry and people's cars and houses and everything else and clothing uh, through fiber production, predominantly cotton. We are now the center of the cotton production region. It's moved north from London. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're the center of beef production in the state of Texas. And we produce 30% of the beef within 100 miles of here that's consumed. And you've heard me say this before, but nationally. So these rural students, to me, have a very important role to play, not just in the local communities, and I would never underplay that, but in in the state and nation. This is important stuff that we're doing. And now, David, to, I'm, I'm sorry, that's all the preliminary uh, response, but here's the answer to your question, because you talked about health care. The people that produce the food, fuel, and fiber have to be healthy, and they can't go to Houston and Dallas uh, to be healthy, or even Amarillo, if, they, you know, if they're from the, you know, the far north part of the the panhandle, the west part, it's hard. So we need good health care in rural regions. And one way to get it is to encourage young people that are interested in health care, say in nursing uh, or, uh, you know, maybe uh, nurse practitioners or physician's assistants to be able to practice in these rural communities. From a health care perspective, in terms of food, fuel and fiber production, this is exceedingly important. And we see that as part of our mission. And I never apologize. I was asked about it the other day. Somebody said, you know, you're talking about going to the world. Well, we're, you don't want to leave the panhandle behind. And I said, never. Our approach to the world is we're going to serve the panhandle well. 